Say hi to the camera. That's a good boy. Hey guys, uh, I'm back after a long time. Uh, I was mostly just being lazy. So, uh, yeah. Laziest man alive right here. Just kidding. But, um, yeah, I just, I just really... A lot of days I felt like I wanted to make a video, but when it came down to it, I just didn't. But whatever. So today I'm going to do a... I'm going to try and do... A tutorial on the long-awaited zero-g ladder and it, hopefully if I do it right the first time it'll look like this whoop that was almost it it was a bit sloppy but it was almost there shisa um, there it was that was it that was it pretty good so uh Basically, in the gist, you don't have to do the behind the eight ball part at the beginning. I just like building up the momentum. You can just do a straight rollover. Uh, pre well, excuse me. Prerequisites for this are um, probably the Murnax ladder, which I can't even do anymore because I never do it starting from the normal position. I just do a, a middle chaplain and go up like that. You know, like that. Um. But even so, I can still do the zero-g ladder. So I guess it's not really a prerequisite, but it does help if you know the movements of it because it's the same thing, just sideways. Um, and uh, definitely a rollover because that's how you get it all started unless you plan on going into it like straight like a Murnax ladder, which I don't recommend. So let's get right into it. So first you do either a rollover or a behind the eight ball or you could do a... Damn it. Um, or you could do just like a blender if you wanted to in it. Really, anything that ends in a rollover, you know, you could do a helix. Uh, anything that ends in a rollover, you can do it from. But basically, how you do it is when you catch the rollover, you don't catch it like this, okay? You don't catch it like you normally would with the hand. Personally, what I do is... I'm going to walk away from my house since my relatives seem to be yelling at each other. <laughs> Try and get some peace and fucking quiet. Um, you do So you do the rollover. You don't catch it like normal. Uh, some people catch it like this with all fingers extended. Personally, what I do is I do some kind of rock and roll thing. Uh, I do some kind of rock and roll thing and end up catching it like this. You know? So, I'll teach it like that since that's the only way I know how to do it. So when you catch it, you let it roll. And basically what you do is, you have your fingers here, like it's rolled over, and you, how, how do I explain this? It's rolled over, you've, you've caught it with your thumb and your index finger, but then what you do is you curl in all your fingers, but when you do that, you gotta make sure you curl them in before it gets around. So really, you curl in your ring and your middle finger, and then you catch it with your pinky like this and your thumb. And then I, I have my index extended usually because I can just get it around it easier like that. So what you do is instead of catching it with your ring and thumb initially, you let it pass your, uh, not your ring and thumb, your index and thumb, I'm retarded. Uh, you let it Past your index, you curl in your middle and ring, and then you just catch it with your thumb and your pinky like this. So if you know how to do a pinky chap, it's like if you were going into a pinky chap, like that. Damn it. But you don't go into a pinky chap, you just go sideways. So then what you do is, you've ha you have it caught here, okay? So what you do is just like if you were doing a wrist pass on behind the eight ball, you go down, okay? turn your hand like the whole thing I taught with the um or the other way around like that when I did my basic tricks with my Benchmade 63 you kind of just let gravity bring it down and then you twist your hand and bring it back up it's like that you just let gravity twist it down and then right here you extend damn sorry there was a B on my head um you twist it down like this you do a wrist pass 
and then you extend all your fingers but what you do is you also extend your uh, pinky finger so that it's now not curled up but just sitting in between your ring and index or your ring and pinky I'm all screwed up today it's been a long time since I've done a tutorial guys so you catch it like this oh yeah I forgot to explain you catch it with the thumb and pinky but you still clamp it down with your pinky to your ring finger like this so that you can let go of your thumb if you need to you know what I mean so then you turn it down you extend all your fingers okay you extend your middle uh, index and thumb all the way out but you keep your ring and pinky like this on the blade okay like you were doing a Murnax ladder you know like that and then what you do is you swing it back over okay you go around your index and personally when I go around my index I almost immediately catch it with my uh, middle finger so what you do is you swing it over not your index your ring the fuck is wrong with me um, you swing it over your ring finger okay and then immediately when it touches the like when the bite handle touches your ring finger you gotta let go of your pinky and then catch it with your um, middle finger okay and then what you do is you twist it with your middle finger catch it with your index finger let go of your ring finger and use the momentum to do like a helix type motion okay and I realize that's a bit hard to explain but frankly that's the best I can do it's hard to explain a zero-g ladder so where are you yeah okay so you go over you roll let go of your let go of your pinky almost immediately and then grab it with your um, middle finger then you twist a little grab it with your uh, index finger almost immediately let go of your ring finger and then you just use that momentum to go around your ring finger and then like a helix oh yeah prerequisite for this is a helix too and then like a helix you land like this okay and then you just do the rollover okay so in my behind the eight ball tutorial I probably explained this but um wait what am I doing no that only happens when you do this oh I'm so sorry guys okay in my helix tutorial I would have explained like this the end of the trick you go over your ring you catch it with your thumb slide it in and replace it with your ring and keep the momentum going to do another rollover alright so yeah sorry I, I explained the whole thing before with this that's when you do it with behind the eight ball uh, that's not how you do it you just gotta replace the index with your thumb and do that I'm sorry for the terrible tutorial um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. All of this happens really quickly, all of that motioning, and it takes, it take. if you notice, it also takes a lot of, like, arm movement too, kind of like this, um, but you know, it, I haven't, I don't, I haven't really seen really any good, uh, zero G ladder tutorial. I mean, I know Flipzone did one, but <laughs> really he was just like, all right, so you do the rollover, and then you just do it, and it's, I don't know, it, I haven't really seen anyone explain the motions that well, but if you want to learn the motions better, uh, the whole catching it like this and then transferring it between your fingers, that would be in the Murnax ladder tutorial, because it's the same thing, and if you want more help with um, this part of it, you can watch a Helix tutorial too. Which, uh, if frankly, if you're doing this, you should already know the helix. But yeah, it's basically just a matter of trying to get it down. Just trying to get the finger transfers down and keep the momentum, really. For me, it wasn't, it was never about getting the finger transfers. For me, it was always keeping the momentum going. So when I was learning it, I would always end up dropping it or something because I could never keep the momentum going fast enough so yeah basically though quick overview again you do the rollover catch it with just your pinky and thumb like this and clamp it to your ring finger okay then you swing down extend all your fingers these three passed okay I know my voice just just cracked don't worry about it um, and you keep it between your ring finger and your pinky okay 
and you turn it back over, go over your ring, let go of your pinky immediately and catch it with your middle. You keep the momentum going, grab it with your ring, let go, or grab it with your index, let go of your ring, go over your index, then do the helix transfer and go over your thumb and then just open it. I know my voice cracked again. So that's basically all I can do for you. Uh, it's just a matter of, again, getting the transfers down and whatnot. I can't even do it on a consistent basis, but, you know, I'm sure that you guys can get it with enough practice. Also, watching people do it is always really helpful. Just, it really is, trust me. If you can find, Flip Zone is really good, like Flip Zone 999 is really good at doing, as re is really good at doing zero-G ladders. Um, I don't know about Slash and Cut. I think Josh Watson's pretty good at it. He's on YouTube somewhere. Um, he's Bally Freak on Instagram. But yeah. So, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this tutorial helped you. It probably didn't because, you know, it sucked. But, whatever. Have a nice day, guys. Oop. Oop. Thanks for watching.